Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you guys are all having a great day, at least a little bit better of a day than what I am. Um, so something uh, I saw some stuff on Twitter and everything, and you'll see some images pop up from uh, both Charlie Intel and Modern Warzone. So, you know, I'm going to link uh, leave a link to both of their Twitters down below in the description. Make sure you go and check them out. I find out all of my news through them. Uh, pretty much anything coming up about the games. I find through Twitter my voice just cracked there but again I find all the stuff about the game what's going on currently and what's all happening through the game uh, through Twitter through Charlie Intel through Modern Warzone through those guys um, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it the topic of this video is the worst selling caught in 14 years and I'm just gonna say obviously <laughs> uh, they say this is the worst selling COD on launch week in the UK at least. Okay, I'm gonna say in the UK because we don't have the US numbers yet. I don't know when we'll get the US numbers. I don't know if we'll ever get the US numbers. But as of right now in the UK on launch week, this is the worst selling COD on launch week. They have not gained the most revenue uh, like they normally do during launch week. I guess a lot of people are taking YouTubers advice about not buying this game. Um, maybe people just saw the launch of Cold War and they just thought, well, you know, this game's trash. I'm pretty sure Vanguard's going to be trash too. I mean, they're not wrong, but still. I still see people defending the game on Twitter, uh, saying, oh, well, Cold War was trash and everything. But, you know, I'll say one thing. Cold War's spawn system wasn't as broken as this game's. I will sit there and stand by that comment because it is true. Now, within a few minutes, you're going to see an image pop up on the screen here, and it's going to be the one about where, you know, it's the selling the worst. And year over year, they've been seeing less and less revenue from the games. And obviously, I, there's so many better, there's so much better games that you can get through free-to-play games. I mean, a lot of people love free-to-play games now. A lot of people don't want to start paying for the games that they're just... If it's just like a beta, people don't want to pay for it. So that's essentially what we're doing with these games. Uh, I talked about it a little bit in my last video, which you guys should definitely go check out. Um, it's talking about the worst map in uh, Vanguard and probably all of Call of Duty history. I still stand by that. But another thing uh, is that they are going to be nerfing shotguns. That's going to be coming up soon. Um... There's a couple of other changes coming through as well, but they're going to nerf shotguns. That's good because, again, in the last video I showed you guys, I literally have to switch to a shotgun in DOS Hoss because everyone runs nothing but shotguns, pistols, riot shields, and that's it. Um, oh, and SMGs. Um, but SMGs are very little in that map, so it's not really a big problem for DOS Hoss. The main things are shotguns are way too overpowered, and they're going to nerf them. So, a uh, patch is coming up soon that's going to be nerfing, so you'll see the image about that coming up soon here in the screen uh, within like a minute or so, but um, this is just crazy. The shotguns should not have been overpowered this much. Again, within the first week, they're already having to nerf the weapons, and it's, they should have just flat out tested the game before launching it. And can't sit there and say, well, they did test it. They did. No, this is the, f it's only been out for a week. And they have to nerf shotguns because they're too overpowered. P people have already complaining about shotguns being way too overpowered. I did in my last video and I'm, you know, I still stand by that. You know, they are overpowered. So, you know, they won't be for long. I don't know how well this n nerf is going to be. I don't know how weak it's going to make the shotguns or, you know, if this one patch is going to make a difference or not, but um, that's going to happen. Another thing is something that is going to be uh, what I talked about in my last video as well, where I was saying, I was seeing a lot of people on Twitter saying, well, they're getting us ready for shipment and, you know, shipment shouldn't be coming into this game. And yeah, I don't, I still stand by that shipment shouldn't come to this game. Yeah, the reason why I'm voicing over this without a script is because I just saw a tweet on Twitter from 
Charlie until that. On November 17th, shipment is coming into Vanguard. Enemy care package inbound. Oh! This not only gives us Dome and um, Dos Haas, and now we have shipment. <laughs> yeah, they say ready for chaos. No, no. We're not ready for chaos because this whole game is chaos. This whole game is a beta that we paid sixty, seventy dollars for, and they're everyone is just saying, "Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it'll get better." No, you shouldn't be settling for less right now. Since Cold War's launch was so horrible, we should be expecting more from them. A lot better of a work. We're coming out of this pandemic. They're back at their office working, and if they're not, they should be because everyone else is. But the thing is. This game is subpar at best. I mean, again, Halo Infinite launched just a little bit ago, and, you know, or a couple days ago. I'm just going to wait. I'm not even going to get the game yet. I'm just going to wait and check to see, like, what they're going to be doing. Like, is it going to be good? Is it going to be worth getting? A lot of people are already saying that Halo Infinite one multiplayer for first person shooters in 2021 hands down i kind of hope that this is true because it would make me happy <laughs> it'd make me a lot like a lot happier and it, it would restore faith in the first person shooter genre that i i really love but going back to the people defending this why are you defending this just i genuinely want to know why are you defending this AAA company that released a game broken, riddled with bugs, seems to be untested by any player base, and is just, just overall bad? Why are you defending them? I personally want to know. Please leave a comment down in the description, or not in the description, but down in the comments down below. Let me know. I generally want to know why you are defending them if you are defending them if you're not defending them do you agree with what i'm saying and should these AAA companies be testing their games and listening to the loyal player base and you know not the not the minority of the player base but the majority of them because the majority of them are the loyal player base and Again, I touched it on the last video. The minority of these players are under the age of 17. And it, if we were back in 2000s, like early 2000s, if I was a little kid and I asked for a rated M for Mature game, my mom would have slapped me. I, I'm just saying. She would have slapped me. She would have said I'm grounded. And no. Simple, flat out, no. But now with... Fortnite being a thing, and they're obviously wanting to cater to the Battle Royale genre with Warzone. It almost feels to me, personally, just my personal opinion, that they are catering to the minority of the players. Which is wrong. The majority player base is what you want to reach out to. You want to listen to them. You want to hear their ideas. What should be implemented in the game? What should be removed from the game? Because I don't know who... In their right mind said they wanted shipment in Vanguard. All they did with this was make it look like World War II setting. It's shipment, World War II setting. Why? I get that they're wanting to make the game fast paced or faster paced. And I'm okay with that. Don't get me wrong. I am okay with that. But why I'm not okay with it right now is because... The spawns in this game are so broken. That's the one thing they need a patch, and they need a patch for quick. Because, I'm again, the game literally spawns your enemies like three feet in front of you. You could spit on them if they want, if you wanted to, like, and vice versa. So, I could spawn right in front of an enemy. Boom! I have a death with my death. Is that okay? No, I don't think so. At least the spawns in Cold War weren't as broken as Vanguard. At least in my setting, in my experience of playing Cold War, I've never spawned three feet from an enemy. 
I've never had that problem. It's always been with this game. But, you know, let me know what your guys' thoughts are of shipment coming in. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are of the shotguns being nerfed. Oh, let me know all of that stuff down in the comments. Again, I'm coming off script with this because this is just my true, honest feelings about all of this. I'm not happy about it. I guess I'll have to wait and see how shipment plays. And I have a funny feeling it's going to play just like Dome and Dos Hoss. Enemy spawning three feet from with in front of you. Killing you while you're on a streak where you're not able to look because you just spawned and you're on a three kill streak. And boom, you got domed in the back of the head. That's the problem with this game. I think that's something they need to fix on before they put in shipment. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know everything down in the comments. Check out the links in the description. Stay safe, stay healthy. Peace.